Welcome to my channel. I'm Larry Olson and I want to ask you a question. We're going to get into the brain hacking for conflict resolution in relationships. And so I want to start out by asking you, have you ever been in an argument? You know, any of you say no, we're, you're about to start an argument. So I would say that I know for myself that most people have had arguments. And yet, what good does an argument do in a relationship? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. I remember having the whole family over, all the kids and everything. We have five children, and, and uh, we wanted to watch a movie. And so everybody was coming up with all types of different titles. Well, I'd seen that, and I'd seen that one, and I'd seen that one. And now I really don't want to watch that. That seems kind of corny. And by the time I got done mixing their suggestions, they went in another room and watched what they wanted to watch, and I sat alone watching my video. Wasn't it all what I wanted to have happen? Here I am alone. Why did we all get together? Exactly. But what happened? Well, what happened was I wanted to. It wasn't about what we wanted. Anytime you're in an argument, what are you arguing about? And if you think about what takes place neurologically in the cell of our brain, as soon as I said to myself, I want to watch these types of movies, my brain then filtered out every other movie that didn't qualify under that list. Now, I wasn't aware of this at the time. This happens automatically to all of us. I just wanted to be right. And isn't that what we're really looking for when we're in an argument? Now, it could be that we're arguing with our children because we want them to be safe or we want them to be able to pass a test, or we want them to be able to assist with the chores. Or maybe in our relationships with our spouse, significant other, we're arguing about the fact that they're misinformed, that they don't have the information correct. Well, I don't know about you, but I have never won an argument and had the individual that I won the argument over feel good about themselves. You know, there was always a little lingering going on and I recognized over time that that's not what I wanted in relationships. And you know, we are so programmed to be right. The first test we got back in school had everything circled in red. We did what? Exactly. And at a very early age, guess what we were programmed neurologically to be looking for now, wherever we fell short or wherever someone else fell short, according to what? According to what we had learned or were told was the truth. You know, as you learn about the brain, you'll find out the truth is perception. It's really up to the individual to determine whether they're right or not. And the brain loves predictability. It wants to be right. But what I'm going to challenge you at is, do you want to have a wonderful relationship or do you want to be right? Do you want to be able to enjoy the companies of others or do you want to be right? Do you want to go on an adventure and be curious or do you want to be right? And you know what? I have learned that if I just stay right within my own mind, and allow others to be right about what they're thinking about, everything seems to go pretty well. And you know what else happens nine times out of 10? I change my mind. I find out that what they're offering me and their way of doing it is so unique and different from mine that if I am so convinced that it's gotta be my way, I don't learn a new way. And you know, in this new opportunity that we have in 2024, how are we going to be open to new ways if it's got to be our way? So I challenge you, next time you're about to tell someone they're wrong or you're about to start arguing with what they're believing, here's a good trigger to begin to eliminate that. And that's by simply asking this question. You know, what do you mean by that? Because as you're talking to them, 
They're listening through their experiences, not yours. As you're listening to me right now, you're listening through your experiences, not mine. And so are we really understanding one another or are we trying to be right about our understanding? So here's the, the next thing I would like you to challenge yourself to do. And I'll take that on myself as well. As soon as I feel like I'm starting to defend myself, I'm going to do a little time out. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to allow the amygdala to shut down a little bit because if it's active in the fight, flight, freeze mode, it's going to shut my frontal lobes down. My frontal lobes are the CEOs, they're the planners, they're the directors of my life, and they will not be heard or understood over the amygdala. Take a deep breath, relax, and then ask this question and watch out for your intent. If your intent's to be right, the question won't come across right. So when you recognize the intent is for us to develop a great relationship together, even in spite of our differences, I'm, it's easy for me to say, you know what, I hadn't thought about that before. What did you mean when you said? And then be willing to listen and open up. And you know what you'll find out? 2024 will smoke 2023 because you're now allowing yourself to do what you did when you were five years of age. And that was be curious and excited about finding out the next moment. So let me hear what you think about this. And I'd love to be able to continue the relationship that we've started. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for tuning in. You know, and if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe and join this amazing community where we're all recognizing it's not about perfection. We're simply works in progress, but we are getting better day by day.